hey, have you ever wanted to know a bunch of random things about Guitar Hero, Clone Hero, and Rock Band that have no real use or relevance? Well, you came to the right video. This is 9 minutes and 6 seconds of useless Clone Hero facts. But before we get into it, I want to check the analytics. Oh wait, most of you already are subscribed. Cool. Moving on with my day. The song I Want Candy was pulled from Guitar Hero 80's Last Minute, possibly due to licensing issues. Because It's Midnight was initially going to be a bonus song, but it took the other's place in Tier 2 to fill out the setlist. This is why the difficulty seems way too drastic for Tier 2. Generation Rock on Medium in Guitar Hero 3 is not FCable due to forcing attempting to occur when there are no notes present. The first song in the Guitar Hero series to be 1000 notes or longer was Crossroads from Guitar Hero 1. On NTSC devices, the song Trogdor by Strongbad is impossible due to a more strict strum limit than PAL. Even with frame-perfect inputs, a task will always miss at least two notes. In the Guitar Hero Live universe, every concert goer brings several large signs indicating either their approval or displeasure of your current performance. In the audio of the UK version, but not the US or EU version, of Scream Aim Fire on Guitar Hero on Tour Modern Hits DS has the lyric Fuck This Battlefield completely uncensored, but the audio quality is so bad that you can barely tell. Guitar controllers with loose enough fret pads can register notes that you didn't press, such as in this clip. <laughs> About 15% of Wii Les Paul controllers have their screws on the front of the guitar behind the faceplate rather than on the back. These model of controllers also seem to have a smaller fret PCB, fret pads, and frets themselves. Therefore, their parts won't be compatible with any other guitar controller. Notes in Guitar Hero 3 are stored as fret masks. The bottom five bits are used for green through orange, with the sixth bit being used for a hammer-on pull-off flip. Green would have a value of 1, red 2, a green red chord, 3, yellow 4, and so on. The only section in the Guitar Hero series to feature a parenthetical is Bridge Part 2, Feeling Saxy, from Aerosmith's Same Old Song and Dance. Speaking of Same Old Song and Dance, the song was originally supposed to be a wave group cover for Guitar Hero 3, but the final product was so terrible that they had to license the master track from Aerosmith. Harmonix accidentally released Juice by Lizzo for RB DLC completely uncensored, including the n-word written in the vocal track. Good job, Harmonix. The vocals in the Guitar Hero 1 cover of Spanish Castle Magic were so bad that they took them out of the game. However, you could still hear them at the time on the official website. Guitar Hero Metallica's charts contain a secret rhythm guitar chart for each Metallica song. We can only assume they wanted to have an actual full band action going on by having two guitars, one bass, and the drums. The song with the most notes on guitar in the GH series goes to Through the Fire and Flames on Guitar Hero 3. In practice mode, slower is the only speed where the speed factor is approximated. It's mostly unhearable to humans, though computers can detect audio distortions from recordings of slower FCs. Slower is also exactly 67% speed. Aerosmith made more money from Guitar Hero Aerosmith than any of their individual album releases. Guitar Hero 3 PC only allows one set of binded inputs for keyboard, unlike Clone Hero, which allows two sets. There is a Queen song in Guitar Hero 1, Smash Hits, Van Halen, Metallica, 5, Warriors of Rock, and Guitar Hero Live. The Minecraft YouTuber Ant Venom also has a Jordan full solo FC on Clone Hero. The first FC of I'm the One by Van Halen, widely considered by many to be the hardest song to FC in the Guitar Hero series, was done on January 18th, 2010 by Super Marvel 94. In Phase Shift, if the first note in the song is an open note, it will be impossible to hit unless you press one of the frets down beforehand. In Guitar Hero 3, you had to use Guitar Hero 3 Control Panel to add customs into the game, which required you to manually add in the audio and chart, name the pack.zen file, move the pack.zen file to whatever setlist you want, press the equal sign to ensure the game unlocks the correct amount of songs for the tier, press apply setlist changes and apply tier changes, and then execute actions which takes a quite a while to do. If you wanted to speed up a song, you would need the original song files, Audacity, and external chart speed increasing program, and to redo the entire process. Guitar Hero 3 also did not have a search function in-game, setlists were limited to 127 songs in size, 107 on co-op for some reason, and you could only have three setlists active at once, which you switched around in the settings between two loading screens. I'm very thankful for Clone Hero. Clone Hero has an internal cheater bot that never misses that is used to test some edge cases and performance issues in development. This is different from toggling the bot on in the settings as that bot actually plays the chart and can register NPS up to the FPS cap of the game but no higher. If you lay out every single Guitar Hero 3 chart, including downloaded songs, you would be able to obtain a 153,943 note long streak. Go That Far's rhythm chart in Guitar Hero 3 has four note chords. In the RB DLC song Rock Your Socks by Tenacious D, the vocal track has a reference to a Cleveland steamer, completely uncensored. Unlike with Juice, however, this was never really paid attention to or cared about by anyone. Unlike Clone Hero, in Guitar Hero 3, the back window, the latest you can hit a note, shrinks if the midway point to the next note is closer than the 110 ms back window. Therefore, if you tend to hit notes late on Clone Hero, you'd never stand a chance in GH3. The cover artists for the GH covers are only ever given gameplay credit for their work in Guitar Hero Aerosmith. 
However, Wave Group was given credit for their Black Betty cover in the Guitar Hero World Tour DLC. To my knowledge, this is the one exception. The company that made the Guitar Hero Live guitars used recycled plastic. Each guitar is made up of about 75 recycled plastic bottles. The point values for sustains, or hold notes as they are called internally, are calculated ahead of time in Guitar Hero 3 and stored in an array. This array is exactly 4,000 notes long, so playing songs with more than 4,000 notes without a third-party fix will cause adjacent arrays to overflow and start writing into the sustain array. If you have ever seen a co-op video where players seem to randomly get millions or billions of points on a song that crashes before they can finish it, Blood Blitz comes to mind, that would be why. Clone Hero used to have an issue where having flames turned on would cause performance issues. This wasn't from the visual elements of the flames or the entities, but because of the mechanism that destroyed the flames, which was probably implemented near the start of the project. This has since been fixed. A Guitar Hero strategy guide from 2007 seems to imply that the creator's original intent for the name alt-strumming was double-strumming. The artist Prince refused to license his music to Guitar Hero when asked, citing that he'd rather children pick up a real guitar. The rock band Two Song Visions is sung by Malika Sundara Murthy, who is an artist and designer for harmonics. At the 2009 gaming convention, Devastation 2009, held at the Phoenix Convention Center, Witwicks got first place over Asai in a Guitar Hero 2 Pro Faceoff tournament. In Guitar Hero 2, if you pause during a sustain and continue holding the note in the pause screen, the sustain will drop when you unpause every time. This was changed in Guitar Hero 3 and subsequent titles so that the sustain would not drop if you were holding the note after unpausing. It's the same way in Clone Hero as well if you want to give it a try. The Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions of Guitar Hero 3 each have a console-exclusive song. The Xbox 360 version contains the theme from Halo, while the PlayStation 3 version has The End Begins from God of War. Only four songs in the main Guitar Hero 2 setlist were master recordings by the original artists. Most of the songs were covers by Wave Group Sound. In Rock Band 3, 15 of the songs contain the word THE in their title, two more than Rock Band 2's setlist. 15 of the artists are THE bands, which is four more than Rock Band 2 and three more than Rock Band 1. The 69th note in the Guitar Hero 3 expert chart of Closer by Lacuna Coil is a red note. Nice. Explore guitars have an internal clock rate of around 240 Hz, We Les Paul controllers have around 450 Hz, and We World Tour guitars have around 500 Hz. Due to this, it's impossible to get true 1ms polling from standard hardware, despite the RafNet adapter supporting it. This means 2ms is the fastest a standard guitar controller can pull. However, community members have since started creating guitars using Arduino internals which can do up to 8000 Hz with the right hardware. This is likely never going to matter beyond 1000 Hz due to human limitations, but the option is there. Forcing song speed to negative values in Clone Hero using Cheat Engine or other running instance modifying tools causes the game to seemingly erase all notes and audio from the track, leading to an instant end screen. The only instance of a 5 note chord in any Guitar Hero chart is the final note of the Smash Hits chart of Raining Blood. It's also a sustain. The only Dutch artist on the Rock Band 3 setlist is Golden Earring. Open notes have existed since Guitar Hero World Tour, though their original purpose was only to be used to diversify bass gameplay. Guitar Hero Phenom got the first FC of Soulless One. The highest BPM marker for a dot chart file is 4,294,967.295 before the marker is deleted in Moonscraper. Star Power lasts forever with a time signature that has a zero in the numerator. A chart that only has one BPM marker of zero will cause Moonscraper to not load a fretboard. Loading another chart with a valid BPM map causes the strike line to disappear and the custom highway texture to stretch infinitely. GH2 actually had a drum part built into the game files that never reached inception to any capacity. In Danny's Through the Fire and Flames 100% FC, he used every single hopo correctly. A Major League Baseball pitcher by the name of Joel Zumayo lost their career in a Guitar Hero related accident. Guitar Hero 2's Xbox 360 version makes reference to this in the credits, saying no pitchers were harmed in the making of this game, except for one, Joel Zumaya. He had it coming. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It's free and makes me feel good. Have a day.